It seems like everybody's going to classic right now. Everybody's either moving <laughs> up, moving up, or moving down into classic. I mean, your division is getting just bigger day by day, man. It's funny because a lot of guys, you know, since they added weight every year, a lot of guys they um they came like more and more guys came down from bodybuilding because as they were increasing the weight limits, you know, like they thought, okay, maybe I can do it too, mm -hmm. and they saw some guys doing it too. There's only a few guys that came from men's, I came from men's physique. <laughs> I was a pro men's physique pro right. first, and there's only a few guys. I mean, there's Arash, Sadiq, that comes to my mind, Dorn Ferguson, who did really well in Pittsburgh. Uh, there's a few guys that came from men's physique, but a lot of good like physique we see today in classic came from a bodybuilding background. Danny right. Hester was a bodybuilder. Breon was a 212 guy, you know. Yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, classic is definitely a great, great division. It's very exciting. I think a lot of people at first didn't know what to expect so they kind of like stayed where they were and also the weight limit was lower like I said so you know as the division progressed and they increased the weight limit more and more people got involved into that division. Do you have more competition now? How does it make you feel specifically? Oh but me it get me excited the more, the more competition oh, yeah. the more it fires me up <laughs> but yeah I'm, after watching the New York Pro I'm, I'm fired up now 15 mm. and a half weeks to go and I'm, I'm just uh, ready to crush every week. <laughs> nice, nice. I love that. I love the competition. I mean, it, I think it's it's not it's no point of winning a title if there's nobody you know to compete against. You know, you want mm -hmm. to see rivalry. You want to see great physique going against each other. And mm -hmm. I think from the first year to the second year, a lot of the top five got sh like shaken up. You know, and I think it's it's great. I think it's it means there's a lot of more talent. And and it was, that's what the good thing about classic too is like it's very there's some very different physiques. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you know you look. Um, Mr. Proper, Steve Loris winning Pittsburgh, and then you see Regan winning New York. It's like completely different physiques, like nothing, right. nothing alike, you know? I agree. Now, do you think right now with the classic physique growing so much, do you think it's the beginning of the demise of men's open? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I think, you know, the big shows, people come for the freaks still. I mean, the freaks, the big, <laughs> big guys, and the mass monster. Right. <laughs> uh, when you're seeing Orly Winkler winning uh, the Australia Arnold Classic is a, proof of that uh, and I think they still you know but they are called bodybuilding but they got they're getting more and more interested in classic they mm -hmm. still want to see the open but what I think <clears throat> is gonna happen is that a lot of guys from classic as they trying to make the classic get the classic look and do classic and out over the years they're gonna you know progress they might come in the open division and mm -hmm. bring that look into the open division and reshape the open bodybuilding that's, that's what I think that like guys like Regan in, in five years, you know, he had 25 pounds to his frame, 30 pounds. He's going to look amazing. I think he got that, you know, broad shoulders, mm -hmm. small waist. He, keep, he keeps that adding slowly, adding some weight. He's going to be like, amazing in open bodybuilding. He still has that classic look. Mm -hmm.